Good afternoon everyone. Today we have our 1998 2855 Bayliner Sierra. It's powered with a 7.4 liter Merc Cruiser engine, 330 horsepower. It is carbureted. It's a freshwater cooled engine, so it means that it does, it uses antifreeze to cool itself, not seawater to cool the block. So um, the block, you know, in theory will last longer because it doesn't have uh, salt water going through the block. In a perfect world, of course. <laughs> but either way, uh, the boat comes loaded with all different types of options. It's a nice little floating condo that you can hang out on all weekend and come down from, uh, you know, uh, into Maryland or anywhere else you want to hang out and for the weekend on the water. Uh, the boat also has a Bravo 3 outdrive, which is dual prop, counter-rotating. Um, it, it's a nice power package in this boat. And typically, it'll come with a big block or, and a Bravo or sometimes even a smaller 350 engine. Off the back, we have an integrated swim platform with a walk-through transom. We also have a fresh water hookup over there. The boat comes with a radar arch as well as a bimini top, stainless steel bimini top. Boat shows very well. Gel coat came back pretty nice. We only buffed uh, the rubber rail down on this one. Up towards the front of the bow, we have the built-in bow pulpit with anchor locker. Two, well, three forward hatches, Bomar hatches for ventilation non-skid throughout the top of the boat so that you don't slip when walking up. Walk through windshield there. We do have this around this window, there's a little bit of chipping on the frame, probably someone bumped the pier on that one. Boat has this um, retractable back bench seat. So this, you can leave it out like this, or you can fold it inside of itself and have a more of an open concept in order to, um, you know, to have more space, depending on how many people are on the boat. I'm gonna try to open the engine hatch here real quick without too much of a hassle. There's the engine. Another nice feature about this boat is it has this big couch on the port side of the boat with a flip-flop seat so that you can hang out if people are hanging on the back of the boat with a little area for a foot bar, foot rest. Or if you guys are going somewhere, you put that seat in the back resting position and you can lean forward and hang out up front with the captain. All the upholstery in the boat is in fantastic shape for the year. It looks original. Nothing redone on it that I could see. Everything does look to factory specs. It has a very generic depth finder, Hummingbird depth finder that does work, but of course it is pretty antiquated. It needs to be changed out. VHF radio, Bennett trim tabs. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything. And then there's of course, steps to get up to the bow. This little hydraulic hatch it needs to be replaced. It's not supporting itself anymore. Inside the cabin, which is pretty much what most of this boat is, uh, very clean for the year. Headliner shows well. Very little water staining, if at all, actually. Just some minor stuff around the lower windows when they're left open. That's pretty minor and they'll clean up. Storage underneath the V-berth for a lot of things. Storage underneath the dinette here. Refrigerator, little galley area with a microwave, sink, and storage. Tons of seating in here and I'm uh, 5'10". And I am towards the front of this boat standing up without ducking my head down. So someone who's six foot, six foot two towards this area won't have to be ducking their head at all. The boat also has a fresh water system, reverse cycle, air and heat. 
older style cassette player that does work, but um, it, you need to uh, probably update that. Shore power located here with, of course, the shore power capability. More storage almost everywhere in this boat. There's storage everywhere. So this is the cabin of the 2855 Bayliner Sierra air conditioner. Huge aft cabin with a window. There's the cockpit cover right there. It goes from the front windshield to the back. That was replaced about four years ago, we were told. Nice, two uh, full-size adults can be in here, or children, uh, with plenty of space in order to entertain. There's the table. And of course, you have the forward sleeping area as well. Enclosed head, which I forgot to mention. Nice, enough room in there for a stand-up shower with a drain, of course, that flows out of the boat. Very nice 28 Bayliner for the year. This one shows pretty good. We see uh, conditions of all sorts of good and bad through these years, but this one's in pretty good shape for the year. Push Gary off here. But the Bravo 3 allows you to really get on plane quick, as well as nice control around the dock. Um, you get instant feedback while docking because you got two props working for you instead of just one. Although the Bravo 2 option on this boat is a nice feature as well, but um, Bravo 3 is an upgrade. Boat should cruise in the low 30s, about well, 28 to 31, depending on conditions and people and fuel. Wide open, the boat does almost 40 miles an hour, at least it did with one person on it when we sea trialed it before we uh, brought it in. Remember, an M&M boat, we sell boats for less, guaranteed. Encourage you to shop our prices. Our phone number is 410-391-2333. Remember, guys, just because you're watching this video on YouTube does not mean we still have the boat for sale. So please reference our website at mmboats.com to make sure it's available. We do leave the videos up. Bayliner. Thanks for watching. And follow us on our YouTube channel, Facebook page, and of course our website, the most up-to-date inventory. Thanks for watching.